Oh yeah. <laughs> so we've got um, number four of the Nakash and Stoke range uh, reviews here. Um, all part of the little mini series we've got going. And today we're doing Stoke Dark. I've had this one before and um, actually haven't had it for a while, so this will be quite a good one to review. Um, same size bottle, 330ml, 4.5% uh, alcohol, and um, it's the same on the back anyway, so there it is. And uh, we'll be drinking it out of this guy here. Good cut, man, these are so good to hold. Mmm, getting a, a whiff of the, the, those darker greens, sort of the, um, I don't know, al almost chocolatey, not quite chocolatey. Um, kind of that roasty sort of aroma comes off it. Mmm, nice. Um, let's go for the appearance thing. So that's the light. Um, kind of a um, kind of a brown uh, sort of ale. It um, definitely has some red hue through it when you hold it up to the light. Um, it's not pitch black, although it's pretty dark. Um, but yeah, you can you can kind of see through it. Um, poured it, didn't really get any head, um, just a tad bit of lacing around the uh, around the sides, a bit of ring lacing, not too bad, looks like a good beer. Well, go on to the flavour, to the taste. That's a good beer. Man, it's, it's not too strong, <coughs> but it's got it's got loads of flavour in there. Um, it seems well balanced because um, it's not too sweet and it's not too bitter, and it's got it's got a decent body to it. Um, what else can we say about it? Another one. Yeah, there's a good amount of malt in there. Quite malty. That's nice, I like that. Um, it's got a good finish. Like it's sort of like flavour comes down. Not really left with any sort of lingering bitterness or anything like that. It's not like your IPAs and things. Um, <coughs> well, I am left with a slight, a slight sort of dry mouth feel. But it's sort of. I don't know, the, the dryness at the end, but um, I don't know, somehow it sort of goes with it I suppose. Um, it doesn't, doesn't seem bad or anything. Hmm. I could definitely suck down a few of these man. That is good, good stuff. That is um, <coughs> It's a good, good dark ale. That one um, definitely is. is, is it's, wow, it doesn't even have to be winter. You know, it's winter here now, and um, it feels right. But man, 
any time for Quebec, that would be brilliant. Um, good fish and beer, I'd say. Uh, loads of flavour. It's not going to whack you on your, you know, on, on your face or anything like that. It's um, it's good, good. Um, probably have to rate it now, which is uh, tricky. Um, what would we give this one? Just have a think here. Probably would have to go. Probably about a um. I mean, for for a dark owl, you know, probably a good seven to seven and a half, somewhere in there. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably go seven and a half. I mean, that's that's a, that's a pretty good beer. It's really nice. Um, I would recommend that one. Yeah, definitely. Seven and a half for the uh, Stoke Dark. Very good. So um, <coughs> only two beers to go. Um, I believe we've got the lager and the IPA left to go. I'm going to do the lager next and then the IPA last so um, yeah we'll see how that goes um, oof, carbonation is good on that one um, so yeah I've, I've had both the lager and the IPA before um, won't spoil anything but um, yeah should be some good reviews anyway cheers